Okay guys, this time we got a cantilever beam having 300, 200 and 100 kg point loads along its span. Okay, this is actually 3 meters long span. Okay, now we are asked to just draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. These guys are just shortly known by SFD and BMD. Now in order to draw these diagrams, we actually need the shear force at each point or each section and then bending moment at each section of the beam. So let's just calculate shear force first. And for this, I'm gonna have a notation like the upward force is going to be notated positive and the downward that is going to be notated is negative. Okay, don't challenge this positive and negative, uh, you can say sign because um, it can be different, okay, it depends. I have seen in many books, the upward is taken as minus, okay, or negative, and the downward is taken as positive, but does not matter, okay. In many books, it is just reverse, like as I'm doing, the upward is taken positive, the downward is taken as negative does not matter okay it actually depends okay now let's just determine the shear force and uh, let me just have I'm going to have shear force uh, just determine it one section and let me just say shear force at point D it is going to be so simple okay now shear force I'm going to just write D over there that means shear force at point D and now at point D, actually shear force is the summation of vertical forces, okay, just acting at that point or at that section, okay, maybe any section can be taken, okay, from this uh, beam. So I'm taking this section or you can say the point D and there we have only 100 kg, okay, so that is 100 kg and as you can see that is just acting downward, you can see the arrows, okay. So, downward that is taken negative. So simple. Now, shear force at point D that is actually minus, or you can say negative 100 kg. Now, let's determine shear force at point you can say I'll take uh, from this point and till this point, okay, from D to C, or you can say from C to D. So, I'm going to have section C to D, okay. So simple. Now, at this section, we have minus 100 kg already that is minus 100 kg okay and at point c there we have only minus 200 kg okay so adding these guys we're gonna have minus 300 kg that is actually shear force at section cd now we're gonna have shear force at section bc okay so shear force at section b and C or you can say maybe at point B you can just take that like that okay so shear force at point uh, C B or B C no problem now the it is actually the summation of forces so we're gonna take the force at point D at C and even at point B because we are just uh, coming from that point and we are actually considering point B okay so you can also write shear force at B only it does not matter so we have 100 kg at D minus 200 kg at C and there we have 300 kg at B and these guys are actually minus 600 kg. So simple. Now we have actually point A or you can say section uh, B A or A B no problem. So shear force I'm going to have A no problem. Okay. We have that those forces actually okay minus 100 kg at D minus 200 kg at C okay I'm not going to write C over there minus 300 kg at B and at point A actually this is support okay and this support is gonna actually support all these uh, or you can say the total load of this beam which is acting okay so this is actually minus 600 kg now this is the data we can use to draw SFD or you can say shear force diagram. Okay, let's just draw it. And we actually don't have dead graph paper. So I'm going to draw it just simple here. Okay, let's say this is 
the beam this is just a reference line okay from this reference line if there is a positive shear force we're gonna go up okay and negative will be drawn below okay so at point uh, d actually we have negative 100 we are not doing it okay with scale so let's just have we have a point which is actually like this okay i'm going to say this is a uh, video of 100 kg you can also just write minus over there no problem okay now at point c we have actually that is a section cd and that is minus 300 so 100 here till this point and 200 more okay so simple so i can write minus 300 here okay kg no problem now we have minus 600 at point b so 300 here and just going like that okay it is without scale it is not to scale okay and actually that is also minus 300 and at point a we have the same video from here to there okay now actually these points can be joined okay so is this is a point load and this is a shear force diagram so we're gonna do that with zero degree line okay like you can say we're gonna draw zero degree line here here and there and this is actually our shear force diagram you can say this is negative shear force diagram this is minus this is minus so simple okay this is point a b c and there we have d this is the shear force diagram so simple okay pretty amazing we're gonna draw bend the moment diagram just little bit here okay no problem okay let's see L let's just uh, do calculation for bending moment okay i'm gonna have bending moment let me just make some room that is actually bending moment diagram okay so let's just determine bending moment at each section and bending moment is actually the algebraic summation of uh bending moments it it is section of a beam okay and moment is actually if you remember from previous videos moment is actually the force times the perpendicular distance okay so simple so let's just have let me just have bending moment okay bm means the bending moment don't challenge it i'm going to have that at point d this is point d okay so at point d let me just try d over here we have actually the force times the distance at point d we have negative 100 kg okay so minus 100 kg now times the distance from point d to point d that is actually zero okay so that is zero now zero times 100 that is actually minus zero kg meter okay kg is actually for the force meter is actually for the distance no problem okay so at point d we have zero or minus zero kg meter bending moment now let me just determine bending moment at point you can say c okay at that point c point okay so that is going to be actually the force at d because this is the algebraic summation and that is minus 100 kg now the distance till point c that is actually one meter okay from d to c that is one meter okay so minus 100 kg times one now at point c we have actually minus 200 minus 200 kg times the distance from point c to c that is zero okay so 200 times zero that is actually zero and we have only this guy which is minus 100 okay so minus 100 kg meter that is bending moment at point c so simple now we have bending moment at point b okay at point b we have this force we have this force and we have this force okay so minus 100 kg times the distance which is actually from d to b and that is one meter and one meter so two meter minus force at c which is 200 okay oops if you see it 
times the distance till point B from C to B that is one meter. Okay, so times one. Now minus the force at B itself that is 300. Okay, why I'm putting minus actually that is downward and my annotation downward that is negative. Okay. So that's why I'm putting minus here that is 300 times the distance which is 0. So this is minus 200, this is minus 200, and this is minus 0, which is actually uh, minus 400 kg meter. Okay, now we have only the final point, or you can say the, the last point, which is the support that is point a okay so let's just determine the minimum moment at point a so i'm going to say minimum moment at a and that is actually minus 100 times the distance till a minus 100 times the distance which is 3 meter minus 200 at c times the distance till a from C to A, that is what actually 2 meter, 1 meter and 1 meter, that is 2 meter minus the force, that is 300 times the distance, which is 1 meter. So minus 3 times the distance, which is 1 meter. And at point A, we actually have reaction, and uh, if we multiply that force with the distance, the distance is 0 from A to A, that is 0. Okay? So we are not taking that. That is actually just zero, no problem. Okay. So three times hundred that is actually minus three hundred. Okay, if you see it, minus two twos are that is four hundred. Minus three ones are that is actually three hundred. Okay, so four three seven and this one that is actually a thousand minus one thousand kg meter now we are going to draw the diagram okay let's say this is our reference line okay from point a b c and d okay i have just a small room i have little space so i'm going to have the scale little bit okay okay so at point d we have no moment so dead there okay and actually that is just a point we are there no problem okay now at point c we have actually moment which is minus 100 if you see so let's say minus 100 is just here okay minus 100 kg meter okay i'm not writing those units no problem at point b we have minus 4 let's say this is minus 4 no problem okay I have small room so just ignore the scale and at point a we have thousand so let's say thousand from here till here <laughs> this is this is 400 and this is thousand no problem thousand can come just out of the page so just let's say thousand is here no problem okay here we have minus thousand here we have minus 400 now actually how we are joining these points okay we are not doing the same thing as we did for the shear force diagram okay here is this is bending moment so we are going to draw a you can say uh, maybe one degree just like that one degree curvature okay so let's just draw a straight line like this okay this is actually little bit curvature okay one degree and this is our bending moment diagram okay which is actually minus bending moment negative moment we, we we just got it okay if you see this is actually our uh shear force diagram this is bending moment diagram so simple see you in the next video